o'clock. Buenas noches. Now, hold on. Don't push that SAP button just yet. Trish is just welcoming you back for more Explore Tulsa. That's right, Stevie. And in Tulsa, more and more advertisers are getting their word out to the Latin community with MDL Broadcasting. So we thought we should learn more about Que Buena 1270 and her sister stations by meeting Operations Director Alan McLaughlin. The company's been in town for, we're going on our 16th year, February 14th will be the celebration of our 16th year in Hispanic broadcasting. Um, it was originally bought to simply promote um, dances or concerts at a, a local Spanish club. Well, the market's changed in that there's more competition these days. Uh, there used to be one Spanish radio station, uh, and now there's six. We happen to have three of them, uh, which is helpful. Uh, but it's also getting more sophisticated. It used to be just Spanish clientele talking to Spanish uh, consumers, and now the Americans are starting to actually see the value in this market as a whole. And Tulsa Public Schools, in their survey two years ago, showed that 24.7% of all kids in school uh, were of Latino descent. Uh, so that's one in four in Tulsa Public Schools, and those kids are going to continue to be taxpayers and, and, and grow here in Tulsa. Programming here on Que Buena, which is 1270 AM, uh, is regional Mexican. It's the number one format in Latino formats. Um, it's very vibrant. It's kind of similar to our country music. Uh, but it's broken out geographically by like the country of Mexico. Each quadrant has its own musical style. Uh, we kind of blend those together. Uh, ESPN, which is on our other two signals, uh, 1530 and uh, 1570 AM, uh, it's just great ESPN content in Spanish. And of course, a lot of emphasis on what we would call soccer, they call football. Um, it's just insane in that culture, just insane. And this is a qualifying year for the World Cup. So all these teams from all different countries are, are now competing for placement World Cup. So it's a pretty exciting time on that station as well. Um, this is a small company. It's not corporately owned. It's owned by an individual. Um, it's very hands-on. It's very community driven. Uh, we don't report to Wall Street. You know, I report to that listening audience that's out there, and that's kind of neat. I've had the opportunity to learn about a lot of the things that are inherent to the Hispanic culture. It's very family-oriented. It's very religious-based. They're hardworking, good people, uh, and, and I've really been blessed to get to know these guys. Technology is a key factor in what we do. It's allowed us to do with five people what would take 25 people uh, to do in the, in the older days. Everything's digitized, obviously. Um, we don't have to have high price STLs on the roof shooting signals uh, across town. I can drop that with a phone line or a Comrex and go via the internet. Uh, so that allows me to get my signal out. Uh, production wise, Omero Polito, this guy right here, uh, does a truckload of it and, and he does a fabulous job. We can access all of these machines uh, remotely uh, and keep this thing moving and keep it on the air. Tulsa's Hispanic population is a dynamic audience. They have money, they will spend it. They will spend it with American companies if they're invited and if they're treated well. A lot of businessmen will think, well, I don't have a Spanish employee to help interpret. You don't really need to anymore. But the key is to invite them and to treat them well because this community is so, so connected. And you take care of them well, they'll, they'll treat you well. And they make money. Uh, it's a huge cash-based audience. Not a lot of credit card transactions uh, that you have to go through, not a lot of finance problems. They're going to pay you money. You know, it's a very valuable audience.